Hey boys and girls, today we're gonna to be doing our phonics lesson for this week. I'm gonna be reading a book. It is called Wolf by Becky Bloom. That is the author. That person writes the words in the book. Illustrated by Pascal Biet. And that person draws the pictures. So author of a book writes the words. Illustrator draws the pictures in a book. Okay, this is the title, Wolf. The front of the book. The spine that holds the book together in the back of the book. All right, so we're gonna start from the front. Wolf. Walking for many days, a wolf wandered into a quiet little town. He was tired and hungry, his feet ached, and he had only a little money that he kept for emergencies. Then he remembered, there's a farm outside this village, he thought, I'll find some food there. As he peered over the farm fence, he saw a pig, a duck, and a cow reading in the sun. The wolf had never seen animals read before. I'm so hungry that my eyes are playing tricks on me, he said to himself, but he really was very hungry and didn't stop to think about it for long. The wolf stood up tall, took a deep breath, and leaped at the animals with a howl. Ah! Chickens and rabbits ran for their lives, but the duck, the pig, and the cow didn't budge. What was that awful noise, complained the cow. I can't concentrate on my book. Just ignore it, said the duck. The wolf did not like to be ignored. What's wrong with you, growled the wolf. Can't you see I'm a big and dangerous wolf? I'm sure you are, replied the pig. But couldn't you be big and dangerous somewhere else? We're trying to read. This is a farm for educated animals. Now be a good wolf and go away, said the pig, giving him a push. The wolf had never been treated like this before. Educated animals, educated animals, the wolf repeated to himself. This is something new. Well then, I'll learn how to read too. And off he went to school. The children found it strange to have a wolf in their class, but since he didn't try to eat anyone, they soon got used to him. The wolf was serious and hardworking, and after much effort, he learned to read and write. Soon he became the best in the class. Feeling quite satisfied, the wolf went back to the farm and jumped over the fence. I'll show them, he thought. He opened his book and began to read. Run, wolf, run, see, wolf, run. You've got a long way to go, said the duck, without even bothering to look up, and the pig and the pig, the duck, and the cow went on reading their own books, not the least impressed. The wolf jumped back over the fence and ran straight to the public library. He studied long and hard, reading lots of dusty old books, and he practiced and practiced until he could read without stopping. They'll be impressed with my reading now, he said to himself. The wolf walked up to the farm gate and knocked. He opened the three little pigs and began to read. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Some one day, their mother called them and told them, Stop that racket, interrupted the duck. You have improved, remarked the pig, but you still need to work on your style. The wolf tucked his tail between his legs and swunk away. But the wolf wasn't about to give up. He counted the little money he had left, went to the bookshop, and bought a splendid new storybook his first very own book. He was going to read it day and night, every letter and every line. He would read so well that the farm animals would admire him. Ding dong, rang the wolf at the farm gate. He lay down on the grass, made himself comfortable, took out his new book and began to read. He read with confidence and passion and the pig, the cow and the duck all listened and said not one word. Each time he finished a story, the pig, the duck, and the cow asked if he would please read them another. So the wolf read on, story after story. One minute he was Little Red Riding Hood, the next a genie emerging from a lamp, and then a swashbuckling pirate. This is so much fun, said the duck. He's a master, said the pig. Why don't you join us on our picnic today, offered the cow. So they all had a picnic, the pig, the duck, the cow, and the wolf. They lay in the tall grass and told stories all afternoon long. We should all become storytellers, said the cow suddenly. We could travel around the world, added the duck. We can start tomorrow morning, said the pig. The wolf stretched in the grass. 
he was happy to have such wonderful friends. Oh, in this story, it was about the wolf learning how to read and making friends with the cow, the duck, and the pig. And they all found something in common that they like to do together. They all like to read. Just like we've been talking with Z, our alien friend, that you can find things in common with other friends and that's how you can make friends. If you're maybe a little shy or scared or don't have a lot of friends in school because maybe you haven't been here to make new friends, you can find things that you have in common that are the same and that's how you can become friends. Just like the wolf made friends with the cow, pig, and the duck and they were all able to read together. So when you come back to school, I hope you'll get to make friends and you get to do fun things together, play together, and make good friends. All right, we have two activities today to do with our book. And um, our activities are gonna be talking about first sounds you hear in a word. And we've all been learning our first sounds from our letterling characters. And we've just about learned all of the letterling characters and all of their sounds. So you should be able to um, find and give the first sound in a word by using your letterling characters sounds. All right, so I'm gonna say, a word and I want you just to say the first sound you hear in the word. So I'll do one for example. What is the first sound in this word? The word is wolf. So if I say wolf, the first sound you hear in wolf is wah, wah, wah for wolf. All right. The next word is passion. So I want you to say the first sound you hear in the word passion. Read. What's the first sound you hear in the word read? Duck. What's the first sound you hear in the word duck? Fence. Say the first sound you hear in the word fence. Jumped. Say the first sound you hear in the word jumped. And our letterling character that we've been learning about likes to jump. His name starts with J. Jumping Jim likes to jump. Story. What's the first sound you hear in the word story? Gate. Say the first sound you hear in the word gate. Peered. What's the first sound you hear in the word peered? Town. Say the first sound you hear in the word town. All right, so that was a little activity to get you to listen to a word and listen for the first sound and say the first sound you hear in the word. The next activity we have, I'm going to be saying some words and I want you to be listening and you're gonna listen for the word that does not have the same first sound. So for example, I'm gonna say three words. Two of the words are gonna have the same first sound and one word is going to have a different first sound. So you're going to be listening for the word that does not have the same sound. It's going to have a different sound, okay? Find, walking, wolf. Okay, so think about those three words. Find, walking, wolf. Two of those words have the same first sound, w walking and wolf. So the word that's gonna be different, that has a different first sound is the word find, okay? So that was an example. I'm gonna be saying more words. I'm gonna say three words. And I want you to tell me or say out loud the sound, the word that has the different first sound than the other words, okay? Pig, awful, push. So two of those words have the same first sound, one word is different. I want you to say the word that had this different first sound. Reading, money, rabbits. Next is style, slunk, effort. Cow, class, best. Budge, books, town. Library, 
letter confidence. Travel, tail, feet. Tucked, book, breath. Sun, think, suddenly. All right, so those were three words, and you were to say the word that has the different first sound. Two of those words had the same first sound. So this week, as you are doing your seesaw activities, and soon you will be back in class, we will be listening for first sounds of a word. So that is our phonics lesson for this week, and I will see you again another day. Bye.